Gritty and welcome to another Soul Flame trip report. Capricorn Arm Flights. Today we are flying Swiss in economy class from Zurich to Bangkok. And as you may remember, I asked you guys what do you wanted me to eat on this flight. There was Japanese bento boxes, steaks. But you wanted the burger. Got the freaking sauce on my trousers. The whole burger experience was actually so bad that I complained. Watch until the end of the video to find out what the response was. Once again, Gretzi and welcome to Zurich Airport. I was super excited for this trip because I got to check out the brand new Swiss Alpine Lounge. It's in Terminal A, tucked away where the old first class lounge used to be. Do note that this is a separate lounge to the A Gate Lounge. The design was inspired by a rustic Alpine Lodge, and it is safe to say that the designers did nail the brief. It didn't just look gorgeous, but also had bubbles on tap and made to order food. As if macaroni and meat sauce wasn't already a winner, the addition of applesauce, delicious! Who would have thought? Yum 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 yum. You would do the same, so don't judge me. As much as I enjoyed the Alpine Lounge, I had to go and pay a visit to my all-time favorite lounge, the Swiss Senator Lounge at the E-Gates. Luckily, our flight would leave from the E-Gates as well. One of the best features is the outside terrace. No better way to enjoy your bubbles than with a view like this. And because they've got a whiskey bar here and one of my favorite whiskies, they're also having a whiskey. It's lunch. We have to go to Bangkok now. But we don't want to leave this land. <laughs> yeah, he looks really sad. This operates 12 777s, each with 340 seats, 8 in first, 62 in business, and 270 in economy. On this flight, my seat is 47k. As you can see, there are 10 seats across in a 343 configuration, with the exception of the last two rows. Despite the apparently 32 inch seat pitch, it did feel quite cramped. Enjoy. 
enjoy this flight. During taxi and takeoff, the screens were in full blast showing adverts, lighting up the whole cabin. Some drama-loving YouTubers might call this reckless and unsafe. Okay, let's get out of here. Like what you're seeing, please consider liking this video, subscribing to the channel, and following me on social media for quality banter and following my trips as they happen. We start the service with drinks and crackers. Yeah, after my lounge shenanigans, I stayed off the goose. The olive crackers were no bueno. And this is what husbands are for. Pre order meals were served before the rest. Um, I think that they were looking for a child for my burger because they kept walking past me, so I had to make myself known to them. Ordered the burger. What is the best? Oh. Thank you. Oh. Thank you. Oh. Thank you. Oh. Thank you. Oh. And here we have it by popular demand the Swiss Prime Beef Burger. For 29 Swiss francs or 23 pounds. It came with potato chips, cheesecake, and a variety of toppings. As you probably know, I'm a total sucker for metal cutlery. Right, so let's assemble this bad boy. We've got some tomato, some gherkin, coleslaw, and their so-called homemade burger sauce. I just wonder whose home they were made in. with the fruits that came with it, strawberry, raspberry, and blueberries. 
and the base was quite nice as well, it wasn't too soggy and had a bit of a crunch to it. All in all, I would say quite successful. Part of me wished I had just gone for the regular meal. So let's just see what everybody else got fed on that flight. While I really appreciated the printed menu, I thought it was a bit odd that on a Bangkok flight they would serve Indian curry. Surely a Thai curry would have been a lot more appropriate. Interestingly, the regular meals came out a full hour after the pre-order meals. And according to my husband, the chicken patty wasn't worth the wait, as it was a little bit too salty. There's a fancy glass, which I haven't used yet. Thank you so much. Change glasses. Prosecco in economy glass. Not bad, eh? Yep, the Prosecco saved the whole dinner experience. Cheers. The toilet was clean enough and I really loved the hand lotion and face spray that they provided. The face spray was surprisingly refreshing. Aviator money shot. Ooh. The seat came with an extra cup holder, not one but two code books, and very handy seat pockets for your devices and reading materials. However, I was missing a power socket. The only way to charge your devices is through the USB port under the screen. The headrest and wings were fully adjustable and I really appreciated the cloth headrest cover. It really added a nice touch to it. And upon boarding, a pillow, blanket and earphones were waiting at your seat. I do like to bring my own gear though. A memory foam pillow is great for your back pains, especially when you get to my age. And my all-time favorite travel companion is the ostrich pillow, without which I really can't sleep anymore on planes. The TV screen was a decent size, sharp and responsive. There was a good selection of movies and TV shows, but the highlight was the map, which was super interactive with so many features and really great to play with. Interestingly, there was no handset, so call button and light switches were on the screen. I managed to snooze a little bit and before I knew it, it was morning and time for breakfast. Unfortunately, there was no choice, everyone got the same, but at least it was a hot breakfast. And a good one at that. The hot main consisted of a generous portion of scrambled eggs, spinach, rusty potatoes, and a lovely cherry tomato. Sadly, the coffee was... Anyway, I was very impressed with the breakfast. The eggs, spinach, and potatoes provided different textures and flavors. It was very well seasoned, and overall just delicious. The fruit salad didn't look like much, but it was very refreshing, even though the pineapple was quite sour. Swiss Daddy products are always top notch, as was this yogurt. It had just the right spots with its creaminess. Mm. 
So after the disaster that was the burger, I have to say that Swiss really redeemed themselves with this amazing breakfast. What did you think about the food? Let me know in the comments, I'd love to hear from you. And while you're at it, please don't forget to follow me on social media at FlySoPlane across Twitter, Instagram and Facebook. As we are approaching Bangkok, please enjoy the magnificent views of Myanmar, Western Thailand and Bangkok. You sat through the whole video. Right! So as I said at the beginning of the video, I complained to Swiss after my flight about my burger experience and I outlined to them why the burger was so bad. The meat itself didn't taste like a prime beef burger. It could have been chicken or pork or anything else and the toppings didn't work either. The homemade sauce was well too runny and the coleslaw was too wet. So when you put it all together and bit into it, it just became a one giant mess that lands on your trousers, which you then have to dry clean. But kudos to Swiss. They came back with a generous response. As compensation, they actually sent me a restaurant voucher to the value of 80 pounds, which I can use for a fancy dinner with my husband at a restaurant of my choice. In all honesty, I would have been happy with a refund but an 80 pound dinner is so much better and so generous of Swiss. Right, so thanks very much for sitting through this video and I'll see you for the next one. Until then, happy flying. Bye.